Governments poured in billions. Manufacturers churned out futuristic designs, and everyone from soccer moms to tech moguls seemed to be hopping on the EV bandwagon. But something strange is happening on the electric highway. EV sales are declining day by day. What went wrong? Is the EV market on the verge of a historic collapse? In this video, we will examine the shocker of the century, the potential collapse of the EV market. We'll also separate fact from fiction and explore the reasons behind this unexpected decline. So stay tuned until the end and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The government's previous attempts at electrification have hit a snag. But fear not, they're not throwing in the towel just yet. Instead, they're flipping the script with a fresh strategy geared toward achieving zero emissions and sustainability. And they're not content with the slow and steady approach either. They're shaking things up with a diverse array of tactics, putting more emphasis on hybrids and other green technologies. Meanwhile, the electric vehicle market is going through some severe turbulence. We're seeing some eyebrow-raising developments that we've not encountered before. Let's discuss some reasons for the decline in EVs. First off, EVs growth has hit the brakes. Yes, after years of zooming ahead at breakneck speed, the growth engine has suddenly sputtered to a halt. It's a stark departure from the norm. EVs were on an upward trajectory for ages, with yearly growth rates soaring to at least 90%. Everyone thought the gravy train would keep on chugging along, but then out of the blue, the momentum screeched to a halt in the past few quarters, and the Biden administration had big dreams of turbocharging the EV revolution, aiming for lightning-fast adoption rates based on some promising figures. Despite the lofty goals and grandiose promises, the results have fallen short of expectations. Another unexpected twist in the EV industry is that the resale market is in disarray. Once upon a time, buying a used EV was a no-brainer for savvy shoppers looking to score a deal. But now it's a different story altogether. Resale values decline faster than a lead balloon leaving buyers and sellers scratching their heads. And that's not all. Charging infrastructure woes are rearing their ugly heads. With all the hype surrounding EVs, charging stations would pop up left and right like mushrooms after a rainstorm. But alas, the reality is far less rosy. There needs to be more charging stations, especially in rural areas, which puts a severe damper on the EV experience for many would-be enthusiasts. In the latter half of 2023, we saw a massive tumble in growth. The year wrapped up with a hefty 50% increase in the market, which sounds impressive at first glance. But then, January swooped in with a paltry 15% year-over-year growth, sending a clear message. The electric vehicle frenzy is losing steam. Even the most die-hard optimists are dialing back their expectations, predicting a modest growth rate of around 30% this year, if we're lucky. Realistically, though, the numbers are likely to fall even lower. It's like hitting the brakes on a roller coaster ride. Once you've zoomed through the initial excitement of being an early adopter, the thrill starts to fizzle out. Car manufacturers are struggling to keep up with the demands of the average Joe, who isn't looking for bells and whistles, but just a reliable set of wheels to get from A to B. And then there's the issue of oversupply. Since COVID-19 barged onto the scene, the market has been flooded with EVs. Now for ages, car manufacturers have been dealing with supply chain woes, unable to churn out enough vehicles, EVs included, thanks to the chronic shortage of semiconductors. But while the early adopter craze was at its peak, demand skyrocketed, leaving supply in the dust. But then when everyone thought they had it figured out, the tables turned. The market took a breather, production kicked into high gear, while demand took a nosedive. Now here's where things get interesting. According to the grapevine, supply has shot up by 500% compared to just a year ago. And when you factor in the sluggish growth we talked about earlier, it's no surprise that we're stuck in an utterly out-of-whack market. Let's rewind the clock to when Tesla kicked off the EV craze, blazing a trail that others quickly followed. Even Ford jumped on the bandwagon, offering jaw-dropping discounts of up to $144,000. But Biden's electrification plan has hit a roadblock. The Biden administration had big dreams of a smooth and speedy transition to electric vehicles, with the EPA proposing stricter emissions rules to pave the way for a future where two-thirds of new cars would be electric by 2032. But when they saw that growth was grinding to a halt, they had to face reality and change tack. So out with the old plan and in with a new one, featuring loser emissions rules and a more modest goal of electrifying just one-third of new cars by 2032. Meanwhile, dealers were doing a disappearing act when it comes to EVs. They were riding high on the wave of high demand and interrupted supply chains for a while. But now with the market cooling off and oversupply becoming the new norm, 
They are not so eager to stock their lots with electric rides. But those were the days of fat profits and sky-high markups. But alas, they are now a thing of the past. With the current oversupply situation, EVs are languishing on dealer lots, gathering dust faster than you can say discount. Gone are the days of hefty price tags. Now it's all about slashing prices to move inventory. Take for instance the Baxter Auto Group in Nebraska. They've got over 20 dealerships under their belt. Yet they struggle to move 25 all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning models in 2023. Can you believe it? When the Lightning first hit the scene, they had a backlog of over 200 orders. But fast forward to today, and they've still got a dozen electric pickups sitting around, waiting for a new home. At this rate, it'll take them six months to clear out their modest inventory. But wait, there's more. Ford and GM aren't making life any easier for dealers. They're cracking the whip demanding dealers invest big bucks in EV infrastructure and staff training. Understandably, most dealers are dragging their feet, preferring to stick with good old internal combustion engines rather than dive headfirst into the EV pool. Ford and GM thought they could give Tesla a run for its money, so they went all in on EVs, pouring billions into the endeavor. But they never quite cracked the code on how to turn a profit. While Tesla seems to have the Midas touch regarding the EV economy, everyone else is left scratching their heads. It's no wonder GM and Ford are hemorrhaging cash on every EV they sell. Ford, for instance, spilled the beans that they've been bleeding over $36,000 for every F-150 Lightning they've moved off the lot in the past year. That adds up to $5 billion in losses. Meanwhile, over at GM, things are so dire that they've resorted to buying back shares to appease nervous investors. And with the slowdown in sales, these two giants have no choice but to hit the brakes on some of their planned EV investments for the year. Ford is hitting the brakes on $12 billion worth of investments and slashing production of the F-150 Lightning by half. Over at GM, they're pumping the brakes too, pushing back production of the all-electric Silverado to the end of 2025. Plus, they're delaying the rollout of new drive units until the end of this year. Tesla may be the golden child of the EV world, turning a profit while everyone else is still trying to figure out the secret sauce. In recent months, Tesla has faced its fair share of challenges, from slow sales to new technology. And when the big dog starts to falter, you know things are serious. Tesla shares dropped by 7.2% in just the first week of March, and the first quarter of 2024 ended with a whopping 24% slump. While it's not precisely doomsday, it's a clear sign that even the big players like Tesla are feeling the squeeze in these challenging times. Now let's talk electric pickups. It's becoming increasingly clear that they won't take over the market soon. With sales on the decline for pretty much every electric pickup maker, from Rivian to Ford, it's clear that they're still playing catch up to their gas-guzzling counterparts. Limited range, lower towing capacity, and hefty price tags are reasons people hesitate to make the switch. And speaking of range, let's talk about EV technology. For all the hype about blistering acceleration and cutting-edge features, the reality is underwhelming. EVs still lag behind gas-powered cars in autonomy and reliability. And with consumers demanding more bang for their buck, it's clear that there's still work to be done before EVs become the go-to choice for the average Joe. So what's the takeaway from all this? Well, it's clear that EV technology still has some growing pains to work through. With more time and tinkering, who knows? One day we'll all be zipping around in electric cars without a care. But until then, it's back to the drawing board for the EV industry. Thanks for tuning in, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next time.